I was, I was playing with Freddie Hubbard in Nice. Freddie Hubbard All Stars, quote unquote, and whatever it was. And so when Nice, I don't know if you've been there. These, they used to do this mix and match thing, you know. They'd have maybe one set group, and then everybody look at the thing. Who do you play with? So I got, I had, I was to, on the thing to play with George Weins, Newport All Stars, uh, Slam Stewart, and uh, Oliver Jackson. I mean Slam Stewart. I mean I knew Slam Stewart from listening to, you know, Don Bice, Slam Stewart. I mean, you know, amazing. So when I, I, you know, all those guys like Scott Hamilton and Warren Bichet, and, but they did that all the time. So they're bored with all this shit, you know. And like, I never played this. I I've heard this kind of music, but I never really played it in its true sense. So I'm playing. I'm having a great time, you know, because to me it's like new. And so I get, I get off the bass and all these jazz journal, British moldy fig guys, you know, kind of like you used to call them, you know, the old farts of jazz. Like, hey man, we didn't know you could play like that. We thought you were avant-garde or something, you know, like that. They, anything, anything like kind of little bebop issue and beyond is uh, avant-garde. And so, all of a sudden, I became I got this big magazine feature, and my, I'm on the cover, and all this stuff. So, although I, I remember one time getting a criticism from uh, Gary Gibbs, he called me the Zelig of jazz. I said, "What a stupid thing to say!" And then this this young piano player, he says, well, I, "I read the article. And he didn't understand because he didn't know the context." I said, "Well, the guy's he's, he's he doesn't understand." Like it's like as if you like all of a sudden you change everything that you do. You become like you just shift gears a little bit. It's nothing, and like that's called sensitivity. And they don't they don't understand it. See, they're they're the kind of people that that think that you're not an artist. You're, well, only people that are artists are like geniuses, like Monk, because Monk played Monk, you know. And that's that's that there was that was it. But uh, they kind of negate, they kind of diminish uh, the, the ability to be able to be in context. And I, th I found that really insulting because you missed the whole point. But that, that, that came, comes to what I was talking about before. You know, when you listen to a lot of stuff and then you, you incorporate the elements into your playing so that one element might dominate in another situation, but you're not like, because it was easy, and at one point it was relatively easy for me to do a, a, like an impersonation of like, a do a bias, do a Ben Webster, do, do a Sonny Rollins, or Cold Chamber. You can't do that anymore, or you don't want to do that anymore, and it's, it's not necessary to do that anymore.